My name is Ken Christie. I am the Illinois State President representing 15,000 active and retired letter carriers. Before I took that position, I was the local president for letter carriers in Montgomery, Yorkville, Plano, and Aurora for the last 25 years. The thing that saved me from being destitute was the Postal Service. I used to run a big operation with good income, and they sold the company out from underneath me. At that point in time, I couldn't find a job that I was qualified for. The thing that saved me was unemployment insurance, and I hate to admit it, food stamps. The first time in my life I ever felt that pain. So whenever I hear of a store closing or a factory closing, I won't even go in that store that's closing to take advantage of the bargains. Because even though this happened 35 years ago, the pain is still there every time I see the face of the unemployed. And sometimes I wonder about America and how we care for people. It seems like the 1% don't care about the 99% is one that baffles me, not as a union leader, but as an American, that we are facing a situation where we can help 2 million people nationwide by simply extending unemployment benefits. In Illinois alone, it will affect 84,600 people as of January 1st of this law doesn't get passed. And again, it goes back to why. We're not talking about a lot of money, as you can see the charts that we review at the end. And it's nationwide, it's $496. And then I want to say 327 Now, if you think $327 times 52 weeks is going to set the world on fire, that's not going to do it. And this money goes back in the community immediately. Immediately. Because that pays the basics. That pays your rent or your mortgage. That pays for your food or maybe your car note that hasn't been repossessed. So it comes back to the community this way, nationwide. $27 million back into our economy immediately. So now what happens if it doesn't get passed? That's a great loss for it, to put our economy even deeper and deeper in debt. But what do the Republicans want out of this? They want cuts in other places. They want cuts in entitlements, like Social Security, Medicare, things that benefit people things that we were made promises of, and to me, promises made, promises kept. They're talking about don't catch my Medicare. That's where they want to get the money from. They want to get it from the entitlements program. So entitlements are this. You're entitled to have them. There are other ways to get things done, to reinvest in America, not hurt people that are not that can't help themselves. And especially, we used to think that maybe they, this affects our minorities more than even anybody. In our Latin community, it's about 12.7%. In our African community, it's about 14.2%. And those figures don't even include the underemployed, the guy that's basically, basically making it by working maybe two or three part-time jobs and doesn't talk about what he does for health insurance. So to have this law not passed should be a shame on every American. An absolute shame. Because these are people that are not asking for the world. You know, we always talk about the people that I pulled myself up from my bootstraps. That's what America should do. Those people that are not working, they're just lazy. They're, this is a person that gets up every day 
and looks for a job, any job. And I'll tell you one thing, reading the papers, there aren't jobs. There may be a few menial jobs, or a few people that want you to work for cash. But I think the people that are working, the 80%, or they take the 99% other than the 1% of the super rich, where's their heart? Their heart is not in the right place. It's in their pocketbook. And we learned a long time ago, trickle-down economics does not work. But how do you look? As I've been there, at the face of your child, I had a friend, I had a three-month-old baby going into the welfare office for the first time in my life asking for food stamps. It affected my family for a long time. But unemployment insurance saved me. So all we're asking is that we get called on Congress and our local congressmen and women to pass this law because you can't pull yourself up by your bootstraps if you don't have boots. Everybody is not lazy, he's not employed. Not only highly skilled, and corporate America should be ashamed of all the money they have in the bank and not hiring people. So the least they can do is help the people that aren't working by passing this law. And I'll tell you, I would like to bring a few folks up that know the pain I once experienced years ago. Hi, my name is Eric Boone. I've been a union electrician. I've been seeking work, looking for work for over the last six months. I'm not a lazy person. I'm just asking for help to, to put my family through these tough times. I pray that one day I will not have to rely on unemployment benefits, but for now it's a matter of survival. Construction is at its slowest time in recent history. I see some signs of things getting better. However, this time has not yet come. My message to Congressman Ulkerin and Bigger is to pass the unemployment extension so I can keep the wolf away from my door. Thank you. My name is Josh Shaw. I've grown up in Aurora and now live in the Orlando area with my wife and my four-year-old son. I prefer to work every day so I can feed my family. However, with the downturn in the economy, it's been tough to find employment despite my everyday effort. The money from the unemployment is actually keeping my family fed and it pays all of our bills. Without this important lifeline, it'd be a hardship to my family and we would be homeless. Until the economy improves, I urge Congress to please pass the extension now. I understand Congresswoman Bigger lives in Hinsdale with the upper 1% of the area. I live here in Aurora with the other 99%, and things here are much different. Thank you. My name is Freddie McGraw. I'm on construction day route 149. With only one to five job seekers finding employment, that leaves four of us unemployed. Not good odds if you're looking for employment. The money I receive from unemployment goes directly into local economy for food, fuel, and my rent. Please put us the unemployment extensions now. So 84,600 of us living in Illinois have a happy Christmas. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kyle. I'm an electrician looking for work. I will, however, take other jobs because even minimum wage is better than the $2.97 I received from unemployment. Congressmen Holkren and Bigger need to work together with the president. They need to create jobs to move this country forward. I want them to remember all of the country is watching to see how our elected congressmen vote on this life-saving issue. Thank you. Those are four faces that at times when they come home to their family, how do you tell your child that he's out of work? And nobody will hire him. After a while, you start doubting your own abilities. And like the last speaker said, the call said, I'll take anything, even minimum wage. Minimum wage. Well, 
years ago, CEOs made 30 times more than the worker. Now they make 110 times. We're not asking for anything more than a level playing field, a temporary measure to survive. I'd like to bring the podium my good friend, former congressman and future congressman, Bill Foster.